Okay, so I'm going to show you several things that GIS water can do. We have this sewerage and urban drainage network. I already have here a five year return period rainfall. To give you an example, we created these pipes here with a smaller diameter in order to generate some problems. Okay, so let's access the properties of these pipes and change the diameter. Okay, so let's edit and then change the value. Okay, so now with this new diameter Let's run a new simulation to see what happens. This will generate a new results file. Refresh. And there you have it. Our problems are gone. In a nutshell, the master plans created with GIS water have a dynamic nature. This means we can modify the properties, the diameters of the network whenever it's necessary and how we want it.